This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about removing, replacing the red cut pad on the Guillotine EC19 Pro version 2 or V2. First thing you want to do is you want to remove this front table. It has six screws here. I've already removed five, just got the one in the front. It's best to use a little short screwdriver, that way it's easier to get these here because instead of going at an angle at them and possibly stripping the heads out. So we've got one left here. Just make sure the screwdriver head fits these good because you don't want to start stripping the um, the heads of these where you can't get them in and out anymore. Once you get all six screws out, you can just slide this forward, put it to the side somewhere. And basically you're going to need a five millimeter hex wrench and you just got these four bolts here and just start loosening them to access the cut pad. And do about maybe a half a turn. You don't want to loosen it too much to where this drops down because this is at a certain, this bar, this metal bar here is at a certain height to where when the table comes in here, everything's perfectly flat. And like this is, there's no jump up or anything where the paper would hit it. If, if, it is, if it falls down, then you have to readjust it. Some people get it too high and then the table's too high and the paper runs into it. So it needs to, you want to try to not let it move. So, so only loosen about a half a turn each and hopefully it doesn't move and you can still get the cut pad out. You can try to get it out and if it doesn't come out you can loosen a little more. It's a good idea to have a little thin screwdriver and you want to reach in on this thing here. If it won't just come up here, pull, trying to pull up, you watch out for this blade always. You can you can stick the screwdriver in there and you should kind of come down here a little bit, down lower to where you can see the angle there. And there's a gap there, pull it right there. And between the cut pad and the base so you can get between it and then pry the cut pad up. Just go ahead and lift it up now. Let's see. Okay, right there. Let's see if it gives it up. Still a little bit on that side. Let me loosen this a little bit more. Because you don't want to get your hand on that cut on that blade. Make sure it's, that blade's all the way up. And it's, that's basically it. It's pretty simple. It comes out. You do have four sides of this because you can just rotate it to a new side. If you've already used all four sides, you just put in a new cut pad this time. Make sure your new cut pads is the same length. Um, it can even be a hair shorter usually, but when this thing goes, this, this bar comes around here, and it comes. This bar will come forward to turn this when you cut. And if it's this is too long, sometimes the bar will hit this and pop it up or push it down like that. So you want to make sure. And when you put this back in, you go all the way to the left to get it down in there a little bit, and then go all the way over until. It, it, it hits the side there, so all the way to the left, and then make sure it's all the way pushed down, and it's nice and flat, flush with the frame here. Okay, again, you want to measure it, make sure it's about the same length as your original one. Sometimes they can be a hair longer or something. If it is a little longer, you can test it by putting it in here, and then doing a test cut and making sure this doesn't run into it, bump into it. If it don't, you're good, but if you do need to trim it off, you can use a hacksaw or something. They're pretty easy to cut. Okay, so just get it back in there, and hopefully this did not move. Make sure it's all the way down, and just tighten these back up. And then snug them tight. And them fairly, fairly snug tight. You can crank down these a little bit. Especially your Allen wrench is not usually that big. Can't give you, doesn't give you a lot of leverage anyway. And just make sure it doesn't move. If you did have one moved for some reason, you can always put a spacer in there somewhere, but typically they, they clamp down pretty good, so you shouldn't have that problem. Unless you purchased a cut pad somewhere else that's not from us, and the pad's maybe a hair thinner, and then it could slide back and forth, and, that, and then you would need to put a spacer in there, like a little thin piece of paper all the way down the back of it or something, or a piece of cardstock or something like that. But if you got the pad from us, and it's our cutter, you shouldn't have a problem with that. Then just basically put your... Um, front table back on and just try to line up these holes as good as possible usually you get it in it's fine but I mean sometimes you can shift it slightly one way or the other just try to line up all the holes and then you just start screwing the screws in and you just want to be careful with this you want to go sometimes they you got they go in at a hair of an angle so you got to find just find the threads you know you don't need to crank down on it should go in nice and easy until you tighten down and don't tighten any of them down until you get them all started so just find the threads. It should go in nice and easy. You don't want to strip the threads because the threads are into the frame of this. If you strip those actual threads out, it's going to be hard to have a screw in there. If you strip, strip the threads on the screw out, obviously you can just put another screw in there. But just want to be careful not to strip the threads on the frame. 
anyway, just get them all started, all six of them. And then once all six are started, then you can snug tie them all down. You don't want to crank down on these very hard because it, for the purpose I talked about, you don't want to strip any threads. I did the first three here, but you obviously got to get the, your back three as well. Um, that's pretty much it for the cut pad. Um, we'll do a video on changing the blade in case you need to do that as well. This video was published by mbkpinternational.com.